let's discuss how to manage your workspace okay so first of all the question is how big a workspace do you get so usually it's an a4 sheet but it's also possible that you can have small leaflets like one of the big consulting firms gives so you have to be prepared for both the eventualities one thing that i would recommend is that in this case you could be less environmentally conscious and not use both sides of the sheet as far as possible just use one face of the sheet and number them well it's useful because finally when you're trying to present your analysis you don't have to flip everything and get lost right you can have a complete analysis in front of you okay so that's two that's two point there first that use only one side and then also number them okay now overall how do you manage let's say you have an a4 sheet how do you manage that okay so i'll just share what i use and i think it could be pretty useful for you also so i solve my case in landscape mode and i essentially divide my page into three parts okay the left and the leftmost part basically is divided into two parts this space here let's call it one is only and only for the question so while i'm being told the question i will jot it down here this space here too is essentially for clarifications around the question so whatever initial preliminary questions that i ask i jot it down here so roughly in the first two three minutes of the case only this one third of my sheet this third of the sheet will be used let's get to this space here i have a rough space for ideas you could call it an idea box if you want uh, a lot of times while solving the case your structure does not allow you to say things that you feel are useful for the case so instead of keeping them in your mind that i have to say this after 5 minutes i just jot it down that okay i need to revisit this revisit this idea further into the case it saves a lot of mental space and now this space this was 3 4 this is very useful this is my calculation space okay i'll just come to this uh fifth this main area and the proportion of it could be different upon depending upon the case that you have at hand this is my workspace where i make my structure okay everything related to the structure goes here and everything related to a calculation goes here right as far as possible try to keep these two separate so that it doesn't get muddled up and also if you are finally submitting your sheet to the interviewer as you are sometimes asked to then having a neat structure in one place is good to look at right so it serves two purposes first of all it indicates to the interviewer that you are a organized person and the second objective is that it helps you also to not get lost while solving the case and uh, if you have practiced the case for about 30 35 minutes you will realize that getting lost in a tough case is quite easy okay so i hope that this uh, these few pointers around aligning your workspace help you out thanks for watching